Hello, my name is Alan Bullard and I'd like to talk to you about my Scale Explorer books. It's the five volume series which helps you to learn your piano scales and arpeggios really well and to use them in a real life situation. Scales and arpeggios, after all, are the building blocks of music and knowing them makes learning new pieces so much easier. The books are published by ABRSM and are based on their practical piano syllabus and in this video I'm talking about the Grade 2 book and playing some of the music in it. For each key that features in the syllabus there's a section of exercises leading to the complete scale and or arpeggio and then some pieces using them. For keys that you learnt at Grade 1 the focus here is on hands together and for new keys the focus is on hands separately. The book begins with the keys you already know from Grade 1, so let's begin with G major. There's just one page for this key. It starts with a workout in three repeated sections, which you can practice hands separately and then hands together, and then the two octave scale. Here's the workout. And now the scale. Then at the bottom of the page there's a piece using elements of the G major scale, hands together and separately. It's called Looking Round the Corner. Now the new keys are introduced in the same way as in book one. Two sets of hands together workouts and then the complete scale and also scale starters, tune factory and pieces. So here's the D major pages. I won't play everything but here's the left hand scale starter called Dancing Tubers. And now here's the Tune Factory. This time you're given a rhythm to play. And then you can turn the rhythm into a tune using the D major scale. So here's one way that you could do it. And now here's one of the D major scale pieces, knocking on the door. There's also a page for the D major arpeggio with workouts and starters. Then there's a piece using scale and arpeggio patterns called Floating in the Breeze. So all the keys for Grade 2 are covered in this way. There's also a section for the chromatic scale on D and also for the contrary motion scale of C. So now I'm going to play a selection of pieces from the book. The first one, Dancing Dinosaurs, uses the chromatic scale on D as well as D minor. 
And then the next one, Rhythmic Reflections, uses the contrary motion scale of C major. I'll play those two first. Then there's half a dozen more, and then I'll play a duet called In the Depths. This can be played by pupil and teacher, or two pupils. Or if you've got a digital piano, you can record the player two part and then play the player one part with it, which is what I've done. I do hope you've enjoyed hearing about this book. It's also got a handy summary of the scale fingering patterns in the introduction and a revision page inside the back cover. And to play you out, here's one more piece from the book called Swing Song. <laughs> 